This is Fox 26 Morning News Weekends. Time now is 6.40. Prom season is upon us, and it can certainly get pretty costly, being the bell of the ball. But one local organization is making sure no girl misses out on her big night. We're going to fill you in. It is springtime, which means prom is just around the corner, and shopping for the big night can be costly. The Giving Gown Foundation makes sure no girl has to miss her big night. Joining me now, Cassie Miller, Mike Nesbitt, and Ariella DeLong. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Right, Cassie, I want to start with you. What is the Giving Gown Foundation? The Giving Gown Foundation provides everything a girl could need for prom completely free of charge. Mm -hmm. They can get a dress, shoes, accessories, an on-site alterations, a swag bag of hygiene and beauty products, and they get to attend a self-esteem seminar. And you've brought in all of these gorgeous dresses that are set to be handed out to girls this year. How many girls do you think you're going to help? We are able to serve up to 1,500 girls. We do still have registration open, so you go to our website at givinggown.org to register. Great. Okay, and you've also got uh, the accessory table lined up. Yes. I mean, this is really a full day event for these girls. You call it your, your boutique days where they're paired up with a, a fairy godmother and you really just pamper them for the day, right? Yes. Yeah. So we provide one-on-one -on -one attention and care. Their fairy godmother will take them through our boutique and build the, their self-esteem, boost their confidence, and just give them just a really beautiful day. Oh well, Ariel, you benefited last year from the Giving Gown Foundation, and you're a senior this year. Yay. So when is prom? <laughs> May 14th. May 14th. Okay, and you'll be picking out a dress soon. Mm -hmm. Well, you're lucky. You kind of get a sneak peek at all of I these. Know. Have you started to? Has your, you have your eye on one of well, them? When they were bringing them in, I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How important has this been for you? Would you have been able to attend your prom had it not been for an organization like this? Um, this has really helped a lot financially because you have senior fees and you have college mm -hmm. and it's just, it helps a lot and plus they're really beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. and most of these are all brand new or gently used and I mean, you know, people only wear their prom dresses once anyway, so they are, <laughs> it's like having a brand new dress. All right, Mike Nesbitt is with MW Cleaners. You guys have, are a major partner with this organization. Tell us about your efforts. Yeah, we're really excited to be a partner with Giving Gown and it's, it's such an awesome opportunity to help people that need the help and be able to go to prom. So we collect uh, dresses mm -hmm. and uh, clean those dresses and then bring them to her so she can give it away <laughs> to people that need it. That's great and so anybody can come and drop off still anybody, at your location? Yeah, they can up until April, April the 2nd. Uh -huh. uh, so they come to any of the 37 MW cleaners around Houston and uh, drop them off and we'll get them clean and get them to her. Oh, very nice. And the boutique days are coming up on April 7th and the 9th and so people can still register, Cassie. Tell us about that process. So they'll go to our website at givinggown.org to register. Mm -hmm. Our event is held the 7th, 8th, and 9th and this is a one-time event for the year so we do need to get the registration in quickly. Okay, and people can still volunteer as well too, is that right? Yes, we, we have over 350 volunteers right now but we really do need some more seamstresses. Mm -hmm. We try to have the girls leave with their dresses and so in order to do that we do need some more help with that. That would be great and tell us about some of the donations that you're especially in need of. Are there certain sizes or certain types of shoes or accessories that you're really still in need of? We're always in need of plus size gowns mm -hmm. and in need of shoes. That's one of our biggest needs. Great and what's your advice to girls who are going to be going through this process? Um, um, Ariella when, when they go into the, this room I mean it's just filled with dresses. How do you, what's your advice to them? Um, my advice would be, um, I don't know. Have fun. <laughs> have fun. Have fun, with yeah. I would say have an open mind too, because when I went in, I was so like, oh my gosh, but it's like. You thought you knew what you wanted, and then maybe it was well, a little different, I thought, huh? I was like, well, they're not going to be pretty because they're donated, but they're right. so gorgeous. They are. And so, I mean, look at these. Look yeah. at this one right here. I mean, you will feel like a princess walking out in any of these gowns. I love that one, too. So be open to colors and, <laughs> and everything else, right? All right. Thank you all so much for coming in. Thank we appreciate so it. Hopefully a lot of people will be able to, t to take advantage of this great program that's offered. Time now is 6.55.